Okay, so, so, okay, there has been a lot of controversy in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and it's always something new where there's some people who are complaining that the mayor of Cheyenne uh, needs to either step down or be removed for some reason or other, and the latest has to do with what I'll just go ahead and call the Bloomberg money. And now there's an online petition. Now, I don't think there's a mechanism, for what I understand from the city clerk, to remove the mayor, but they would like her to maybe step down. But we'll see. This has to do with, again, money that she received, about $100,000. And that petition, by the way, which is closing in on 600 signatures, and I don't know if an online petition holds any weight or not, but there it is, uh, that has a list of grievances against Mayor Orr. So since we've been talking about this for the past few days, and people from Cheyenne are free to call in and complain about the mayor, it is only fair that we let her answer that. So, Marion, I'm glad you came on this morning. Morning. Good morning. How are you? Very good. All right, so let's take good. a look at the uh, online petition. Like I said, it has a list of grievances. So what I figured I'd do is sort of give you the uh, the shotgun approach here. I'm just going to start throwing them at you and just letting you answer, and the answers fall where they may. So let's start with what I've been calling you know the Bloomberg money. Uh, that was money that came from what? What were you involved in to get the money? Right. So Cheyenne was one of over 300 cities that participated in um, what was called the Mayor's Challenge. And we put forth a proposal, and um, gosh, we were one of 35 cities from those over 300 that were selected to carry our proposal further. And with that came a $100,000 grant. And we were also assigned two coaches to work um, through our proposal with us. And um, one of the th- – well, actually two of the things within the proposal – included um, really what would be ongoing expenses, uh, because the finalists would win a million dollars. And so um, we had in our proposal, you know, kind of what we would do with a bigger, with a bigger pot, if you will. And, and so one of those was um, an, uh, an ongoing website. And the other was a position within City Hall that, again, would require ongoing funding. Well, once we learned that we weren't the big finalists, we weren't going to fund one-time funds and start a website and um, fill a position again with one-time funds. And so, um, so that, that money was not spent. And we asked our coaches, hey, what do we do with the, with, with the remaining funds? And we were told, hey, it's mayor's discretion. And so what we did is we, we – we're still uh, doing great things at City Hall. We were having town hall meetings. Um, we have been doing data system processes. We just last night we launched um, for our business community uh, a new program that we have with planning and development. This great systems flowchart as far as you know how you get your business up and going. Um, so you know, really, really good things have been coming out of it. Meanwhile, you know, and I've been asked to speak um, numerous places, not only around the country but around the world. So we were using that fund that we thought was discretionary um, to to fund those those items, which would have been they would have been spent anyway. But we were actually trying to save taxpayer dollars and use what we thought were were grant funds that could further um, city hall. And then we found out that. Well, we couldn't. And okay. So, uh, so the yeah. travel expenses that some people complain about in there, uh, those travel expenses are what you're talking about, you going and speaking somewhere? Is that what you're using it on? Well, yeah. That, with the exception of the USS Cheyenne, um, mm-hmm. every mayor has gone out to Pearl Harbor, which is where um, our namesake ship um, is, is, uh, is home to. And uh, I was invited by both the wife of the captain of the boat and um, the Chamber of Commerce and Military Affairs Committee to uh, join them for their homecoming. They've been out to sea for uh, just about eight months. And, of course, I'm going to go out and support our military. Mm-hmm. Um, other mayors have done so. In fact, when Mayor Spiker, um, he was unable to go, so he, he sent two staff members. Okay. Um, and so, and, and my husband attended, and he, he paid his own way. Well, then how do we wind up then? Some of this money has to be returned. So how much is my understanding of it? So does some have to be returned? And if so, how much and why? Yeah, it's just under, excuse me, it's just above half. Um, I don't have the okay. exact figures in front of me, Glenn, but um, we, we've been working with the philanthropy, and um, we have recategorized um, some expenses, and we will be sending them a check for, for unused funds. But again, the funds that then, um, you know, essentially aren't being, well, let me, so the funds are being returned, and then the money that um, that is being recharged is going back, 
and charged against the the mayor's discretionary account, which every every mayor has had. Okay, so I had heard something about uh, from Rocky case something like twenty three thousand dollars we might be on the hook for, and if so, who's on the hook for that? Does that exist? Well, yeah, and so it's not. It, it is. It's, it's roughly twenty three thousand dollars, and nobody's on the hook for anything. These okay. are again expenses that would have been spent out of city hall, and some of them were um, actually. Uh, a, accounting mistakes in that they were charged, for instance, um, chairs. Uh, we, ha- we have a budget at City Hall for um, office equipment, believe it or not, and, you know, that was just miscategorized. So nothing, uh, I, I think, um, I don't, I, I stand by the fact that everything that was spent was absolutely done within uh, the betterment of, of Cheyenne and, and City Hall. Okay. Let's jump to some other things that I see here in the list of grievances. And some of this you've already answered on the program, but it's on the list, so let's go ahead and if you, if we can and what? go through them again. So you, you this, is, this is what's great is yeah. that I have yet to find anybody that likes um you know, everything that, that any elected leader is doing. Uh, well, so no, no. I'm you know, I'm happy to, to answer the list of grievances, but sure. this is uh you know, this is not unusual by any. No, no, but well, you knew when you became mayor, as you ran for mayor, you knew the arena that you were stepping into, which is why you need to be able to take it. If you can't handle what's happening right now, you should have never run. It's just part of elected office. So, okay, well, absolutely. That's why I did not garner a hundred percent of the vote. You know, right. Glenn, and yeah. there were people that didn't vote for me, and guess what? They probably wouldn't vote for me again if if I if I if I choose to run yeah. in the future. So, yeah, um, you know, and, and, and that's exactly it. There are always going to be detractors, which is why at City Hall we just continue to do the good work that we're doing and, and okay. uh, continue to meet with the community and uh, break ground and cut ribbons and, and redevelop okay. systems and processes. Well, let's and, take a look at some of these other, because some of these, again, these are all grievances you and I have already talked about on air, but let's, was because it's on the list of grievances. Uh, it says here, is, it's in quotes, gift or bribe of the local f- truck from the Dodge dealership during Frontier Days. Are you still driving it? Uh, absolutely not. Okay. Um, yeah. Use that just during Frontier Days. Okay. So that was a, what, a promotional thing? Uh, it was, um, yes, uh, Cowboy Dodge is a wonderful sponsor of Cheyenne Frontier Days. We could not have Cheyenne Frontier Days without wonderful sponsors, and part of their sponsorship is providing um, vehicles for CFD officials to use uh, during the, the week of Frontier Days, and it's a new ownership. Okay. And with that, the, the, uh, the very generous um, again, sponsor thought that the mayor should have one too, and uh, so right. it, it wasn't anything asked for. It was provided, and it was returned. So Number six on their list of yeah. grievances is the potholes here. As you tried to, and again, this is in quotes, emergency procurement and allowance, and uh, it was what uh, repair potholes two hundred fifty thousand dollars. What, what was all? Because apparently, some people say you just don't understand the way city government's supposed to work. The way you try to get that done. Well. <laughs> Regarding filling potholes, again, this is money that has already been budgeted for our streets. And we faced a situation way back in August. I alerted council members that, hey, we need to get this done, and we need to get it done quickly. And I thought, actually, that they'd be on board with it, and then they'd want to get this done. And um, they balked at the process that we used. Our, I was, uh, you know, I, I was counseled um, that this... Uh, procurement was was a tool that I had that happened to not be the case. But rather than come forward, um, you know, council saying, hey, okay, yeah, we get that we need to fill the potholes. Let's work through this together. They just continue to fight the process. And so unfortunately, here we are. We're almost into November, and those funds will not be spent until until next spring. And and you hope until next spring. All right, we'll see how that works out. Okay, so again, this this list goes on and on of grievances here. And since there isn't any mechanism to remove you, and they're doing an online petition, I don't know if that has any weight whatsoever, but uh, so any plans to step down? (laughs) No. I was was elected by a, a, a very good margin, a solid margin, and uh, no, we're doing great things at City Hall. I'm very proud, very, very proud of the work and the accomplishments 
um, that we've had. And to be honest, this is being fueled by really the, the same group of, of haters, if you will. Um, for Mr. Case, he's made it very, very clear. In fact, he has told our HR department, he's told other council members that when it comes to me, it's personal. And so, uh, you know, I, I've got thick skin. If he wants to not do his job and, and not uh, focus on um, leadership and counsel and put all sights on me, that's really a shame for his ward. And, okay. you know, they'll, they'll be detractors. But for, but for Mr. Case, it's absolutely personal. And um, we just continue to do our work. All right. Now, so last question here, and you always avoid this, so we'll see if you do it again. You're going to run again? Oh heavens! Um, yeah, I do. I do avoid it because it, it is so. It is so far, uh, so far away. But um, you know, there's just again, there are just so many great things going on, and mm-hmm. and unfortunately, you know, there there are the haters, and and then, you know, then there's even you know the, the 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 troll from Florida who who calls in and still thinks that he has some kind of influence on uh, Cheyenne and, and Wyoming politics, and so it's just, you know, it's um, it. It actually uh, really kind of makes me smile every morning. <laughs> okay. Well, and now, we just continue to, to do the great work that we're doing. You understand, so. Marion, at some point we're getting closer and closer to the time that I'm going to ask that question, and you're going to have to answer it. It's going to happen. We're right, Will. And I think the filing date is usually around in May. I, yeah. I don't have it on. So, yeah. So All we'll, right, we'll Marion. Probably before then. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate <laughs> it. Have a good All day. All right, you have a good day, Appreciate too. you. It's Wake Up, Wyoming.